Well, guys, I decided I'm going to continue it, despite the fact there's no basement, so, you know. I, it, I just had to, you know. For basement, guys. Oh, this thing's dumb. Man. Okay, well, I don't even know where they all went to. Uh, I'm guessing we go down there? Alright. A new area. <laughs> He's the best character. I guess he didn't make it into Elite Force 2. So wait, we're all here. God, Even the that? captain. Even the captain's here. Who are they? I... I can't it. Oh. They're telepathic. No kidding. This shaft, it, it's full of those monsters. There must be thousands of them stored in the This must be some kind of incubation chamber. It's a whole army of these things. For some kind of invasion, there's enough here to take a whole planet. Not just a planet, an entire galaxy. These Reavers are the ultimate killing machines. We have spent thousands of your years abducting species from all over this galaxy. Our probes have found worlds your purely federation would never dream existed. We've tested and dissected them all, combining and manipulating their DNA. We have grown the ultimate warrior race. You and your entire galaxy shall fall to the war song. No! We will stop you! Pitiful creatures. To the war song, you are nothing more than an infestation, an annoyance to be crushed like a... Zoids are telepathic. I was able to block the alien's voice. For now. Are you okay? Yes, I... It just took a lot out of me. I'll be fine. Tuvok, this is Monroe. We found the main shaft that just had some sort of contact with the being who seems to be in control of this station. Yes, Ensign. We received the same message. We are still recovering from it. They're creating an army of drones. They're just like the Borg. Correction. The Borg seek only perfection. These Vorsars seek to annihilate all lesser beings and dominate whole galaxies. Even worse than the Borg, then. Sir, we can't just shut down the generator. We've got to destroy the entire station. I concur, Ensign. My teams will start placing explosives. You and your team continue down the shaft to the generator. You have to destroy it before we can set off the dead packs. Voyager can then escape the region before the explosion. Understood. Monroe out. I guess you're better than them, because like I've like so far defeated an entire army worth of them. Yeah, I just saw one down there and thought I'd slam them out. Hey guys. Why do they always stay behind me? There's clearly nothing behind me. <laughs> How many are there? But someone pointed actually that out uh, in the last one. I kind of I chuckled a bit because they that is one of the things. How many are there? What really? That was like nothing left in there. <clears throat> okay. There's another one right there. Eric Welder is a lot of fun. What do you think we're doing? Uh, whoa. You know, I don't remember them ever jumping like that. Maybe this is the only time I've ever actually done it on hard. Maybe they don't do it on the other distances. Or maybe it's just in the fact that I haven't played it for years. Oh, really? <laughs> you are the most insightful teammates I've ever had. Understood. We still have a few more to set. 
Well, you guys can handle them over there. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hang out here. They're trying to get up to me. It's like the best spot to hold them off from. Is there a control panel I can press? You know, the grenade launcher is much faster for this, but... I'm gu yeah, I'm guessing the grenades are pretty much the best weapon in this game. Alright, uh... Guess we'll just heal our 10 health. Um... Alright, let's keep going. Sir, I just planted the last of the explosives. Oh! It sounds like raw. Sounds like everyone else is assisting is having, actually having trouble. Alright, let's go. The central shaft. Oh, I think I remember this. There we go. It's not really a pattern, you just shoot it and then you can see it. Where the hell is it? Okay, we're in a bit of a pickle because I don't actually know where to go. There we go. There. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, they already know what it is. All right, more arc wielder. I know it's it's just cool. It's like a purple thing. This is them to all go in that one big choke point. Anything down there? I guess not. But there will probably be something down there once I uh, move down. Alright guys, let's go. Get over here. Oh, you can just jump down. Oh, that was easy. A little too easy. The harvesters are like circlings, kind of thing. Damn it! You got to come out out here. What? What a cheater! What? What did the panel do to you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's stuck. So we're just gonna go here. <laughs> that was random. I've never seen them just sh shoot up a panel to death. Fuck you, panel. Killed my mother. Uh oh. Alright, guess we're uh, going here. I wonder what's down there. Oh. Oops. There's some ammunition up there. What the ammo? Oh, there he is. Uh, I thought he died or something. He fell into the pit. I don't know if they could do that, but that's pretty funny too. Oh, what the hell? I took damage. I need to go back up. Go. Alright. <clears throat> we'll just grab that and find a much safer way down. Probably just take the elevator. Uh, anything else down here? Uh, kind of curious what's actually there. It's probably gonna kill me, but you know. <laughs> what? That was that wasn't a fatal fall. <laughs> Stupid game. The forge. It's insta kill death sequences. Yeah, I, I have more than enough ammo. Let's 
go, kids. Just sharing the pizza, Dad. I like the pieces. Okay. They must grow them down here. Right. They must use the materials gathered by the harvesters to build homes. Oh, it's amazing. I made a horrible joke here and had to delete it. Uh, you can pretty much guess with my actions of what I'm doing right now of what it was. Anyways, back to my actual commentary. And they'll just go in a single line. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that was that was funny. No. Oh, what's here? Oh, more guys. Health energy terminal. Drot running like an idiot in the corner. Alright, elevator guys. We have to kill the forge before it forges us. He's pissed off because he's, he's standing in front of an enemy and worried and wondering why, why I'm killing him. I would stand like a moron in front of them too, except you know, I, I don't want to be hit. Oh wow, that secondary fire is baller. Wow. All right, keep going. Yeah, you can just take your time. I like how the elevator doesn't even wait for him. <laughs> Uh, all right. You guys all done with? You know they do kind of like stand in a line just conveniently for me. I never kind of realized that, but then again, it was this is the quake. Uh, Three engine. You, I don't. I, I can't think of many games where uh, enemies are really like not predictable like that. Monroe to Tuvok. We found the generator creating the dampening field. Excellent, Mr. Monroe. Destroy the generator and we will activate the deck packs. We will then start the evacuation. Understood. Ensign, it is important that you succeed. All of Voyager is counting on you. To fuck out. That was a vote of confidence. I think. I guess it's just a success. We did it! Can we leave? You said a billion of your guys, and it's obviously the shittiest uh, invasion force the universe has ever seen. If if they cannot even swarm me, the most they do is cause me to switch weapons. Alex, over here. Let's move it, Ensign. Ah! Insignificant creatures, you cannot stop us. This is forge. Is but the first of millions. We will launch the seed. It will grow into a new forge and create thousands more. You have simply delayed the inevitable. The Forsan shall conquer your galaxy, then countless others. Gerard. She blocked the voice again. Must have overwhelmed her. Alex, listen, we got to get out of here. The whole place is going to blow. Come on, let's go. Take Gerard. Get her back to Voyager. Wait, what? Alex, where are you going? You saw the visions. All this is going to start all over again if I don't stop that scene. 
Wait, let us... No. You've got to get your aunt back to Voyager. This is my decision. Now go. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I wouldn't even love to help, but you know what? Then, can you really blame him? Because, uh... I don't think the teammates have really helped with anything but sucking. If it was Beesman, then yeah, I'll be like, hell yeah. But those guys, yeah, get them. This is my decision. And now the elevators go slightly faster, so we don't have to wait for people to go up to them. So now it's just me versus everything. They really are easy to take out with this thing. I think it's the great A launcher that makes it all overpowered. Look how fast the damn thing fire fires, like holy crap. And only five ammunition per thing. Yeah, it, it one hit kills everything. And even I accidentally hit it. So <clears throat> Alright, what's an energy terminal? And look how overpowered I am now. <laughs> you get 999999 ammunition. Well, 999. With everything. Even the arc welder. If only we had that kind of technology before. Oh, yeah. Ensign Monroe. Yes. Ensign Monroe, acknowledge. He's not even talking. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Monroe, you are violating direct orders. This is Monroe giving a fuck. <laughs> he just doesn't care. This is just standing on the elevator. Elevator music to him. You're violating direct orders. The hell I am. Hey, cool. That thing's gonna kill me if I go into it. No, it's gonna hurt us, hurt me slightly. What's going on? Foolish human. You cannot hope to stop the force off. I was created by the Ancient Ones. I shall carry out their programming. The sea will be launched to create a new forge. We can never be stopped. Wait! Listen to me! In your visions, I saw this machine is thousands of years old. How do you know that your purpose is conquest? Your makers might have only intended to use you for research. They may have been explorers, like ourselves. Nonsense. Our programming is clear. We are engineered for perfection. We are created to conquer. But through the thousands of years, your original programming may have deteriorated. Do you even remember who built you? Where did they come from? What did they look like? The race of beings who first made you might even be extinct. Silence! The sea will be launched. You shall be destroyed. Oh, here we go. Final boss fight. Uh, I don't want to pick up those purple things. I want the ammo. In case I need it. But I have so much ammunition for this. <laughs> That's so cool. Two hits. They're all gone. Anyone want more? There you go. Goodbye. It's so easy to take him out. I love the arc welder, man. So much. Screw every other weapon. <laughs> it's so easy to take him out. I know I keep saying that, but... I just love one-hitting them. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we'll pretty much just, just have to defeat him a couple ways with these guys. It's like a giant beam. Can't hate giant beams. Yep. And he's just taunting us every time. You're gonna die. You're going to die in here. That suit looks really lame. I don't know, if, if, if they've had it all this time, I, I would have just secured my, like, immortality, like, right away. Just by launching it, like, the second, the second they had the technology. Oh, it's the, uh, whatever those guys are. I don't know what they're called. They're the dudes that do this stuff. Oh, they killed it. Okay, there's no point in us being here anymore. Seed stopped, must leave. Dangerous. Come with us. No. Why, Monroe? You stopped the very purpose of why you came here. See, by all means, his boss point is actually completely pointless because he's dead anyways. We have like mines and stuff. Wow, he disconnected his arms. Oh, there we go. Good, pretty little crap out of him. So far, he can be defeated by the difficult uh, action of circle tracing. Wow, and that thing rejuvenates like all my all my everything. Like I got 999 again. The arc weapon would do this. So he he has a bunch of attacks, uh, but I remember defeating him like this. This is this is this is basically the game I think I learned to like what circle strike really meant. This is the only way to defeat him, uh, even on the even on the easy difficulties. And he fires like missiles and stuff, but as I said, he has he has yet to hit me. Oh look, I have maximum ammo again. Well, might as well just use it. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> this is just a minor setup for the Vos of We Shall Return. Yeah. Oh no, the chandelier is falling. Or whatever that is. I guess we beeped out. If it wasn't for that uh, energy dampening thingy, this episode would have been over very quickly. Impulse engines are full power, Captain. Keep pressing it, Mr. Paris. Oh, he's on the bridge. Destroyed. Time for discipline. We made it. What about the other ships? Some of them made it out. Captain, I'm getting a message from the Ethereans. They thank us for our help and are back on their way to their new home. Captain, I've got some readings on our position. We're still in the Delta Quadrant, but we're over 200 light years closer to the Alpha Quadrant. So, we gained a few months. Not bad. Get us back on course for home, Mr. Pat. Looks like your plan worked, Benson. Yes.
Congratulations, Monroe. Good work. Your performance was quite satisfactory. You appear to be injured. You should report to sickbay. No. Yes, sir. I had a hundred health. <laughs> if you looked at it, he didn't even touch me. <laughs> Tells you. Hi. Penny for your thoughts. What's a penny? I don't know. Some old phrase I heard Paris say once. It was a nice service. The beastmen and the others. Yeah. For a funeral. You couldn't have helped them, you know. You did the best you could. They knew the risks. They were professionals. I know, but when you disappeared in the Ethereum ship, I told myself the same thing. It didn't make me feel any better then, either. You can't bring them back. Don't live in the past. Look toward the future. You have a bright future. Do I? Sure. Trust me. Is this a private party, or can anyone join? How are you doing, Monroe? As good as can be expected, I guess. Lieutenant Monroe? Those pips suit you well. Lieutenant, thank you, sir. Oh, you got you a promotion. Had worried there at the end. Mr. Monroe disobeyed orders and did not board the escape shuttle. I'm sorry, sir. There was something I had to do. <laughs> we know, Lieutenant. We all saw the alien visions. You did what you had to do. It was commendable. You were willing to sacrifice yourself for the whole. As did the entire team. You all performed bravely. The hazard team has proven to be more valuable than we imagined. Starfleet just might adopt your idea when we get back to luck. Thank you, Captain. But I think Mr. Monroe is the one most responsible for the success of the team. Oh, I think we already knew that. It took some time, and not in considerable effort. But you have proven yourself to be an outstanding officer and a natural leader, as I always believed you would. Th thank you, sir. I was afraid you would think my decision was too... impulsive. Sometimes, Lieutenant. Your gut instinct is better than what logic and procedure would suggest. Both are needed in a good leader. That is why I chose you to begin with. Yes, sir. I understand. Why, Tuvok? Is that a bit of pride I detect? Surely, Captain. There is no cause to insult me. <laughs> oh, yes. That was so funny. Now, that was actually pretty cheesy. <laughs> yeah. And that would be the end. Well, that was uh, that was the end of uh, Star Trek Elite Force. Um, if if you've watched anything of the actual TV show, you know that that was pretty similar. Uh, that was pretty identical, actually, to the TV show in a lot of ways. Um, <clears throat> in the sense that uh, you know, you got the cheesy stuff, you got the plot holes, you've got uh, the why did the enemies like do the visions the entire time to tell them. Like he could, like the the guy could just kept his mouth shut, watch the seed, and then you know, hoped hoped to do it in the secret seed, but you know, yeah. So here's all the characters. I don't. I like this game. Uh, I liked it a lot back then. Um, it seemed a little. It's a little easy, um, especially uh, nowadays because I've I've played so much Quake and some other games. So I guess for me, it's it's. I don't know how anyone else finds it. I, I remember having a bit of trouble with it uh, when I was... Like, as I said, the last time I played this was like eight years ago or something. Uh, ridiculously long time ago. Uh, which is why when I saw it and I started it up, I'm like, wait, this game was awesome. But the thing I really like is, uh, you know, like the, the, the differences in architecture between all the, the main areas you go to. Like, the Harvester ship is different from the Ethereum ship and stuff, so, like, a lot of thought was put into that. And, you know, it's it's a decent length game, but the, the, the multiplayer was actually really nice. I think I'll go play uh, a bit of multi, um, at least with bots or something, just to show you guys what it was like. Multi was really good. Um, a lot of fun. But, uh, it's very, very solid. Uh, very well-made game. Uh, I don't know if you guys can... If, if you're interested, you can find a copy, but it's definitely worth playing on your own. I, I liked it a whole lot. Hey, look, there's a bunch of characters we don't really know. All the not main characters. <laughs> and as I said, uh, 
it did really well, and for the year 2000, this was actually really good. Um, this is, I think, about four years before something like Half-Life 2, but four years after Half-Life 1, I think. So, you know, it was it was in between. It was right in between there. Um, but the but the second game was a lot more advanced technologically wise. I, I don't know what happened, but there's like a major leap in in uh, the te the technology between that time. And so you'll see the difference whenever I decide to do it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next. But yeah, um, really fun. Uh, I know I had a lot of segments that were like 35 minutes or something, which is something that I didn't really intend, but um, I don't know, it happened anyways. But it seems to have worked out, actually, so... You know, I was having fun, I don't really care. Uh, I don't think that's the actual holographic doctor. I don't even know. I don't know what the actual actors are, so I couldn't really tell you if, the, if any of these people are the same. I think it's actually just looping now. Uh, they changed your voice, I think. In the expansion. I have the expansion. Oh yeah, I have to do the expansion. The, well, it's not the expansion per se, it just adds a very minor thing to it. You'll see it. Yeah, so it's looping, so I think we're done. Welcome to Voyager, Elkar's menu system. <clears throat> so we'll do that uh, a little bit later. So uh, see you guys later. Bye.